What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another daily video. Today is the day that you'll be watching this. I uh, had a day off yesterday, but I'm gonna film a whole video in the morning, this morning, because look, look what has arrived. This thing, this thing. This is half my PC, or a little, over, a little bit over half my PC. The main things aren't here yet, but I don't think I'm gonna open that just yet because I'll save it for the whole video when all my PC parts are here. I'll reveal the whole thing, but I will go through what I did order, so don't worry, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. It's really bright. There we go, we're fixed now. Alex, are you really trying to turn everyone off? Yes. Good, good, that's the girl, that's the girl. But today, I'm gonna go through all my gaming gear. You can't even see in there, it's too dark, but that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. But I'm gonna go through all my console stuff and just like tell you what games I play, what are my favorite games, stuff like that. I'm actually thinking about going live soon on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, you gotta go, go follow that right now, because I'm gonna go live on it right now and uh, get some Q&A questions about my console. Hopefully people ask like, what's my favorite one? What, what have I had the longest? And stuff like that. But basically we're gonna go through my whole media room first, and then after that, I'll do a little Q&A. So, just get in there, man. All right, first of all, here's an overall look of what I'm running in my media room. So I obviously have the uh, projector. Not even sure what it is, it's Epson. Uh, we installed it ourselves. It goes up through the roof and then around. But um, yeah, this thing's epic. Like, it's just like a big TV. That's basically a huge TV. When everything, all the lights are off and um, this is all closed up, it looks super good, looks just like a TV. And it's so weird for me to uh, like watch a normal television now because this is so huge. So when I go back to like a normal TV like this, it just looks so small and so unusual. But uh, I guess that's, that's a bad thing about having a massive cinema screen, but it's also absolutely epic and I love it. Can't forget the epic couch with electric, electric reclining, oh my gosh. I barely ever use this side because it takes too long, but I use this one, this is my seat. As you can tell by the stains from my hair from sitting there days on and days out. But uh, let's move over. So straight away you're going to notice that there's another TV. Uh, I have this set up so that Alex can play Fortnite with me. She faces this way and um, plays the game and then basically I can't see it when I'm playing this game. So here you see I'm playing games, Alex plays it that way and I don't see the screen so it doesn't bother me. But uh, yeah, I got Alex our own little Xbox, so we didn't have to do split screens. But here we go, what do we got? So the first one I actually got, oh you can see, I actually got a PlayStation. I'm gonna get my phone out, hold up. So as you can see there, I have a PlayStation 2. Yeah, that's a throwback. That's actually one of my favorite consoles. I had something installed that would download games, so I actually had one CD that had like maybe 15 games on it. And that's still got some of my favorite games of all time. So I do jump on that uh, sometimes and give it a go. And that's all plugged up plugged up to my um, receiver here. But then we have the Xbox 360, another one that I absolutely loved and pretty much got me into hardcore gaming, like online, uh, playing like Modern Warfare 2 and stuff like that. That was my, that was my game of choice to play with my mates. But uh, let's move on to the next one that I got was this Xbox One. And uh, I've had this for a really long time now. But I absolutely love it and I still get games for it and play it like every single day. But then the newest console I've got is the PS4 and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm I've been playing God of War at the moment and it's absolutely amazing. It's like you're playing a movie. It is incredible. Well, as you can see here, I've got all my controllers set up here. It's not usually this neat, but uh, there's a controller from yesterday. The R. Willy Signature Xbox One controller. Need to get myself a PlayStation 4 one since I'm gonna be playing PlayStation 4 as well. But uh, let's check out the games. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get my phone out for the flash again. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have many games. And uh, I love them all. I haven't played every single one. Some of them are still in their wrapper. Pretty sure Alex got me this, Dragon Ball Z Fighters. And I haven't played it yet, it's still in the wrapper, but I'll get around to playing it because I love Dragon Ball Z. But uh, let's, um, Let's have a better look and see what I got. I'll pick out some of my favorites. All right, so I picked out a few of my absolute favorite games that I had sitting in there, some that stood out to me. But uh, obviously first up, God of War. 
definitely would recommend if you have a PS4. It's uh, a super good game. And I'm not too into games like this, but this one, like, I couldn't skip it. And it was just amazing. I'm glad I got it. Uh, next up, we have Skyrim VR. As you can see up there, I don't know if you've seen, I didn't really point it out. I have a VR system for my PS4, and Skyrim VR with like the two motion controllers is one of the funniest things you'll ever see, and like the most immersive thing ever. I'll be sitting there playing Skyrim VR, and within like 10 minutes, I will feel like I'm inside the game, like I'm not even in real life anymore, I'm in the game living it. Because you literally hold, like when you shoot a bow and arrow, you use this hand and like you click it in, you pull, let it go, and he's shooting like a bow. And then you have two swords, and you can literally juggle them around like it's real life. So, I mean, it's quite an investment for a VR, but it's definitely worth it, and it's so fun. I I've, I've, I've got like maybe 10% through the game, and I'm absolutely loving it. But uh, next up, Monster Hunter World. Another one I'm really surprised that I like. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of games like this, but I was convinced to get it by the people at EB Games. And I was super happy and I did binge play it for like maybe a week straight and just played it every day for like six hours So it is super addictive and super fun and I would recommend it All right back to the classics of course Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, I'm more into the older Grand Theft Autos even though they're not as good a quality But um, this definitely stood up to the, t the test, but I just wish it was a bit longer I know you can play online and stuff like that, but I feel like campaign, it just didn't do it for me this time around, and there just wasn't enough within the game to keep me occupied and happy, so I got over it pretty quick, but obviously it's a it's a really good game, and I would recommend getting it. Obviously, I feel like everyone that owns an Xbox or PlayStation has this game, but yeah. Another one that took up so much of my time is Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I'm a real big fan of Skyrim, so I had to get Elder Scrolls Online, and it took up so much of my time and it still could but I choose not to play it because there's better things to do than run around an imaginary place online and there's pretty much it's pretty much never ending and that's a really bad thing about video games for me because I get stuck playing them for hours and hours and I don't do anything else. Another one I had to show you was the Dynasty Warriors. It's kind of funny ever since I was a little kid I got every single Dynasty Warriors like I'm pretty sure so this is Dynasty Warriors 8 and there's actually three or four games for each number and I would get absolutely every single one of them and most of them were on my PlayStation 2 but uh, I've gotten into playing them on this and I mean it's basically the same thing over and over again except I would buy every single one and just complete it as much as I could because uh, I love Lubu. If you, if you know Dynasty Warriors I played as Lubu and it was my favourite. Probably not even how you pronounce it, but whatever. It taught me a lot about China too. So when I went to China, I knew a lot of things, which is funny because a video game actually taught me something. I feel like there's more games. They must be hidden, but last one from this little list is UFC 3. I just got it when uh, my mate Luke Berlin came up and we played it for like eight hours non-stop and laughed the whole time versing each other and just trying to knock each other out. So another one that's good if you, have, if you want to play two-player or anything like that. UFC 3 is super fun and um, I enjoyed it a lot. But uh, I'm sure there's a few more games. Let me just let me just try to find them. I think they're in this box underneath Alex's Xbox. All right, just before I get into this box, I found another stash of games. So obviously I have my DS, which I actually play still a fair bit. Uh, I'm really into Pokemon, which is kind of lame, but that's me. I love Pokemon. But here's some of the old games. These are the ones that I used to play a lot. Obviously, Modern Warfare 2, Quickscoping was the best. One of my favorites is definitely Black Ops 2. That was, uh, hands down, my favorite Call of Duty. But what else? we got Skyrim, obviously. I fully completed this, 100% Skyrim, on uh, the achievements on Xbox One. I mean, Xbox 360, sorry. And then, obviously, i got Killzone and stuff like that. But uh, let's get into this box, because it's got even older games get into the light. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this box is like a time machine. Obviously, MGP shreds. If you knew about them, there were some MGP shoes that were like the worst things ever, but here we go. Oh, straight up Need for Speed Most Wanted. Absolutely love this game, but uh, yeah, here we go. Let's take a trip back in time. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Definitely one of my favorite games. Fast and the Furious. Oh my gosh, these games were just amazing. I wish they would recreate these games like on Xbox One and PS4 because these are 
the best games I ever played. Ratchet and Clank, Tiger Woods, I surprisingly played this a lot. Uh, Burnout 3 Takedown was always good. You like destroyed cars when you drove around and that was epic. But um, oh, how could I miss this? The best game, like top three games for me in the world. Skate 3, or all the skates in general. Definitely one of the best games ever created, but um, my phone's ringing so I gotta answer it. Hmm, that was an interesting phone call. Uh, I was about better homes and gardens coming tomorrow. Obviously, I'm trying to keep everything clean. That's why I'm doing this now, because everything's pretty much clean except for my laptop stuff. But uh, one thing before I wrap it up and head into some questions. Who remembers this? I don't even know if my followers are old enough to know what this is. But this is what started my gaming obsession. Nintendo 64. I had the Pokemon Nintendo, and my favorite games were definitely Pokemon Stadium and um, Super Mario. Like the one where you went around the castle and you went into different pitches. Oh my gosh, that was the best thing ever. And I even have a Wii too, but that's out there. And I, I had the new Super Marios just to bring that nostalgic feeling. But um, let's pack this up and get into some, to some questions. Alright, what's up everyone? It is a little bit later in the day now and uh, I just bought a bunch of stuff for the house, a bunch of stuff for my PC which is going to be epic. Uh, I had one package arrive today, obviously you've seen that, but um, next package meant to arrive Friday, so I'm f hoping that I can put my PC together, or at least get all my parts together before I leave to go to America. But um, today I did a little live on Instagram and uh, asked you to ask a few questions about my gaming stuff and what games I have and stuff like that. Well, no, gaming related questions. So let's get started. Super simple, Steph Lewis said, what is your favorite game? Uh, my favorite game right now would have to be, I don't even know, it's not even Fortnite, you know? I like um, God of War at the moment. It's just like a movie. I mean, I've gone on about this whole vlog, so I'll just say that for now, it's God of War, but all time, it's Skate 3. It's probably taken up the most time in my life just because it's so freestyle and so like what I do in real life. So it would be Skate 3 is my favorite game of all time. All right, another one. Sage9, and he said, will you ever play Fortnite on PS4? Good question. Um, I mean, I guess it is free on PS4, so I may play it one day if you want me to play it that bad. But uh, other than that, I'm probably gonna just play it on PC once it's set up. And for now, I'm playing it on Xbox. Next one, Softball Kid is special. What was the first game you played? Uh, so the first game I played ever, probably Pokemon on, uh, on a Game Boy. I think that would have been one of my first games ever. Or if not, it was Nintendo 64 playing Pokemon. Next up, we have Vape Lord 900,000. Favorite game character. You know what? My favorite game character ever would be uh, Captain Falcon from Super Smash Bros. That's another really good game. That's one of my one of my favorite games as well. Super Smash Bros. Um, on Nintendo was it? Maybe Nintendo? I'm not sure. But um, Captain Falcon used to be my favorite. That's all I used, and I would just do Falcon Punch and Falcon Kick, and I would kick butt. Next up, we have uh, Oliver. Yeah. O one I V E R Oliver. When did you first start playing consoles? So my first console ever, if you count it, was the Nintendo sixty four. And mum, what? When was it? When did I start playing Nintendo sixty four? You reckon? Ninety two thousand, mid two thousand, or ninety eight. So I was like seven or eight years old. Yeah. yeah so when I was seven or eight years old, I started playing Nintendo sixty four. I'm not sure if I had a Game Boy before then, but that's not a console, so that doesn't count. All right, next one, Hasman737847. He asked, do you Twitch? The answer is, yes, I Twitch, but I've only done it like three times because I can only do it on my Xbox at the moment. But soon, I'll have my PC set up and I'll be able to do it and be Twitching all the time for years and be able to like play with my mates on PC. It's gonna be epic, so stay tuned for that. No drift, shush. All right, and uh, this is the last question by Jeremy dot i i oh, j x r m y dot i i what is the cost of your media room so all up i mean i've got all the consoles vr and the um i guess you'd count the couch that was like five grand the projector 
and all that. I would say I'd be on around 20 grand for my media room at the moment. So it is definitely where I spend a lot of my time at home. But um, I don't know. It's like uh, my man cave. It's actually written above it, man cave. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I went through all my video games and stuff like that. Let me know if you want me to go through any other rooms in my house. Maybe my garage next because I got a bunch of stuff in there and I'm sure you're all wondering what's in my garage. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack that thumbs up button and uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. But thanks for watching my videos. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Yes.